Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. A couple weeks ago, I did my first ever video on Xire Photo. Those of you not familiar with Xire Photo, it is, for lack of a better term, a library module on steroids. With Xire Photo, you could do automatic keywording and you could do very specific image searches and it's very, very fast. You could search through a 10,000, 20,000, 30,000 image database and find one image in literally a second or two. That's how fast it is. Now, I demonstrate all of that in that video I did a couple weeks ago, and I also demonstrate how to use Xire Photo along with Luminar Neo, so you could use Xire Photo as your library module and then do your edits in Luminar Neo. And I, again, demonstrate all of that in that video I did a couple weeks ago. If you haven't seen that video, I'll have a link to it in the description below this video. Now, one thing I did not cover in that video is something that many photographers want, and that is a duplicate file finder, and that is built into XR Photo, and that's what I'm going to be demonstrating today. Now, as you can see, I have XR Photo open, I have my database open, all my images, and I want to find duplicate images. So, go right up here and you see there's an icon right here, Find Duplicates. Well, click on that and you get this dialog box. Now you have some options. Do you want to search the whole database or just the current view or just a specific folder and collection? You could do that all there. I'm going to search the whole database. Below that, do I want exact duplicates or do I want just near duplicates? So stuff that kind of looks alike, but it has different file names and stuff like that. Or do I want to find sequences or bursts? So if you're a wildlife or sports photographer, you may want to find a sequence or burst of images so that you could go through them and find the best one and reject the others. Uh, if, that's, if that is the case, you could click there. You could roll this open and you could further exclude things. You could exclude specific folders and collections right here. You could exclude file formats. So if you don't want to search your JPEGs, you want to keep all your JPEGs and you don't want to include those or whatever, you could do that as well. You could put in a minimum short edge and or you could put in a maximum long edges as well. Now, I'm not going to use any filter. I'm going to search the entire da database and I want to find only exact duplicates. So I'm going to start the search. Now, if you watch that video I did uh, a couple weeks ago, uh, you see how fast it is, right? It goes through your entire database very, very quickly. And you can see I've found six images that are duplicates. Now, you have the option of opening the flagging assistant. This is just a way you could have um, XR Photo automatically flag the images for deletion. Now, it won't automatically delete the images. You still will have to manually delete them so you won't make a mistake and accidentally delete. Have XR Photo won't delete something you want. It will just flag them so you know that they're a duplicate and you may want to delete it. Let's open that. Uh, if you don't do that, you could just go right away and look at the duplicates. But let's open the flagging assistant because you have some options here. Do you want to reject every image that isn't a raw file? So of these six duplicates, the ones that aren't raw files, I could reject. Um, or just reject all the JPEGs that have a short edge shorter than. So, and, you know, low resolution image, basically, you're going to get rid of. You could accept all raw JPEG pairs. So many of us shoot raw and JPEG. And if you do, you may want to keep both the raw and the JPEG. That's the case. You could do that. Accept the JPEG with the highest resolution. So if you have multiple JPEGs of the same exact image, but one of them is a higher resolution than the others, you'll keep that and flag the others for deletion. And then if these images already have a flag, they might have a pick flag, they might already have a specific flag, you could overwrite that existing flag there. So you could go through this and have um, XR Photo automatically flag the images. I'm not going to, I just want to show them to you. So I'm going to click cancel. And as we look at my duplicate images, you can see I have three of this specific image. And you can see that at the top, it's a Sony RAW file. Now, if I go up there and hover, you'll see more information about this RAW file. The file name is underscore DSC 1995. And you have some more information about the file and the resolution dimension, stuff like that. But I go to the next one, you can see that one's dash three. So it's DSC 1995 dash three. And that one is a dash two. So that's underscore DSC 1995 dash two. So they're all the same exact file. They just have a couple. I have a couple. One's dash two and one's dash three. Now I could just manually now flag, let's say, this one for deletion. I could go down here to the lower left hand corner, click there, 
and click on the like the reject flag. Uh, you could use a keyboard shortcut, just click on the image, hit the X key, and that's the delete flag. Now it's not deleted. You still have to manually do that. You could right click right on the image and go down to remove photos to do it. Now if you have one flag for deletion and you want to remove the flag, hit the U key and you could do that as well. So this is how you manually do it. You can see this eagle image is underscore DSC 4613. The one next to it is dash two. This one is underscore 5233. This one is dash two. So you can see kind of a pattern I have as far as my duplicates are concerned. This one's underscore uh, 692. This one's underscore dash two. Again, and there's another one dash two. So there are my duplicates and they're saved over here in the results area. So you could see right here. So even if I remove and I go back to my database, I don't have to run the duplicate file finder again. I could just go to my results and it's my last search results right here. And you can see it's find duplicates. So I could come back in and do these later. So maybe you went through your database and you have like 400 duplicates and you said, oh, I don't have time for this. I got to do something else, some work. So you go over to your folders and you're doing other work and stuff. A couple days later, you could come back. You don't have to go through and run the search again, even especially if you automatically flag them. You don't have to go through all that process again. Just go over to your results and go right here. And there they are. So that is the duplicate file finder found in XR Photo. Again, in the description below this video, I'll have a link to that video I did where I go over all the pretty much every other feature that's found in XR Photo except Duplicate File Finder. And I'll have a link to their website. I have a discount code. I also have a link to um, Luminar's website because they have a deal. If you don't own Luminar Neo and you don't own Xire Photo, you could buy them both together at a discounted price. And I'll have that linked in the description below this video as well. I'm not sure how long that sale is going on for though. So hopefully it's still active sale. I haven't checked, but I hopefully it is. That's it. Thank you for watching my videos. I really do appreciate it. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.